Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The Letcher Fiscal Court staved off a government shutdown by way of flip-flopping on wide-sweeping layoffs and furloughs. By a 4-2 vote, the court shot down laying off 17 employees and furloughing another 32 employees. Then Judge Executive Jim Ward told the court that the only other choice, since the court has shot down other proposed revenue sources, is a government shutdown beginning Monday. As of Monday, there will be no work schedule uh, for any of the workers. And, and what you all don't realize, now they can't even draw their unemployment because it's from day to day, no work schedule. The fiscal court, watched by a group of county road department employees, then called the measure again and by a four to one vote, passed the layoffs. Magistrate Terry Adams, who earlier voted down the layoffs, abstained from the new vote. After the meeting, Ward, by their request, informed some of those present at the meeting that they would be laid off effective Monday. You get close to these, these people that you work with every day, I, I guess, you know, I worry about them when, when I guess it aggravates me that the court, I don't think it ever got personal to them until today. You know, they're worried about their jobs, worried about how they're going to feed their families, worried about their insurance. Uh, we will set up uh, with unemployment and try to get it, and, and, and anybody that needs help, filled out the paperwork or whatever, we will help them. Ward said even with the layoffs, work will continue on the budget. He said he hopes those laid off will be called back to work. At this point, it could be three months, six months. Uh, I just hope we can get them back to work before they run out of unemployment. In Whitesburg, Chris Anderson, EKB News.